Hi, this is John Twist of University Motors. Today, in another thrilling video, uh, I want to talk about the automatic choke on a Stromberg carburetor because I had a specific problem with one not too long ago that the choke was always on and for the life of me I couldn't sort it out. I finally did and I'll show you what I found. So you know when the car is running there's a vacuum up here at this little tiny tiny brass vent. That vent is rooted into the back and there's a hole up above here so it catches manifold vacuum. But that, that, guy, um, that guy, there's always a vacuum there. So while the car is running, you can take, uh, take the choke off, start the car up without just with the choke dangling there. You can put this up to your lip and you can push this on there. And the question is, is there a vacuum? Is there a vacuum? So that's easy. If there is not a vacuum, then you get out, your, out of your Stromberg toolkit, you get out this little drill. This is a 35 thousandths drill, 15 gauge piano wire. And you put that right into that hole, easy for me to say. And clean it out so that when it is running yes you do have vacuum that's important the complementary side of that operates what I call the vacuum kick piston I'm sure that's not the official name maybe it's piston comma vacuum kick but um, anyway it, there, there's a spring-loaded piston that always pulls the choke on choke is on here always pulls the choke on when the when the car is off so you can check this vacuum piston again by putting this in your mouth and then drawing a vacuum and putting it on that hole on the back side that would made up with here Let's try this and see what happens. So, yes, the piston is moving. If it isn't, sometimes they get jammed up, they get dirty, you get to take it all, all apart. That's a lot of fun. I've got another video about that. But the problem I had was that the choke always stayed on. It's like, what is going on? And I changed the choke. I'm going nuts here. And I finally thought, well, is there any vacuum here? That's when I tested it, found there wasn't a vacuum, and came up with this repair. So, real fast, thanks very much. Visit our website, www.universitymotors.online. And until then, safety fast.